Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My goal is to help position you in your search for your best silver gray or white hair. I'm Angela, welcome to Silver Linings. In today's video, we'll be discussing an email that I recently received from one of my viewers, Kathy. Hi Kathy, thanks for your question. Kathy writes, I would love it if you could review Shyla by Envy in medium gray. We're going to talk about Shiloh by Envy today and much more straight ahead on Silver Linings. Well, before we get started, let me just show you a picture of Shiloh. Share my screen with you. She is a beautiful bob. She's by Envy. She comes in lots and lots of colors. Now, I am at Vogue Wigs. You can see the price point there. Obviously, Shiloh is a high-end wig. She comes in many, many, many colors. Uh, in the gray family, she's coming in dark gray, light gray, and medium gray. Um, she is human hair blend. She's going to have 70% synthetic and 30% human hair. That's what makes these uh, Envy wigs so absolutely gorgeous and lifelike. Uh, she, let's see what else I want to tell you here. Uh, trademark Envy Hair Exclusive Fiber and 100% hand tied. Okay, let's move on. Before we move on, I want to explain something to you, uh, especially to my viewer Kathy and all of you. Now, Kathy had wanted to know if I could review this wig, and I would absolutely love to review that wig. I would love to have that wig right in my hand. But here is what I'm going to share with you. And I've talked about this before. I don't sell wigs. I started out, <laughs> I started out the same way you all did. You, you, you did. Um, I needed a wig. I started getting wig education. And then I, I bought my first wig for myself. I think it was February of 2017. It might be 2018. I have to go back and look. And I was so frustrated that I decided to just, every time I would do a review, I would throw it up on, on YouTube to save w women like myself who were looking for silver, gray, and white wigs hours and hours of searching the Internet. So that is really my mission. That's my goal, to try to help people find their best silver, gray, and white wigs or have their best silver, gray, white hair. Okay, so I don't have this wig, but... Let not your heart be troubled <laughs> because many other people have reviewed this wig. And I'm going to blow through a few reviews right now. I will link them all to, for you in a playlist below. So they're going to be all together. All you have to do is click on the first video and all the rest of them will automatically play. Or you can scroll through them if that's what you want to do. But it, it's going to save you a bunch of time. Now, I couldn't find anyone, and Kathy, I'm thinking you probably had the same trouble. You didn't find anyone who had reviewed uh, Shyla in silver, in a dark gray, a light gray, or a medium gray. Am I right? Okay, so what I'm going to do after I blow through the reviews, I'm going to show you Envy in the color light gray and medium gray on other wigs. Now, I don't think I have a medium gray from Envy, but I definitely have a light gray, which for Envy is like a white. Okay, so let's get started with the reviews. After all the reviews, I'm going to answer some more of your viewer questions. Those questions are coming in hot and heavy now. So as I said before, with every video, I'm going to try to I'm going to endeavor to answer at least four or five of your questions. All right, so um, let's go. I'm going to start out by showing you a review of a wig that I did a couple of years ago. Now, this is a wig by Envy, so the fibers are all the same. Company is all the same. I did this review in both medium gray, which is what you see on my hair there. It's a bob, so very similar to Shyla. And... Um, very, very pretty wig. Uh, and I also did, I also held up the light gray, which for Envy is really white, number 60, so that I could compare them for you. And uh, I will put the link below so that you can watch that video if you want to see those those two colors uh, side by side, Kathy. Um, but that was a wonderful wig. I I don't have it anymore because I sent the medium gray back. I should have kept it, and we buried my mother in the white in the white wig. 
last April. Okay. Okay, so here is Envy's Shyla by the company Envy. And what I wanted to tell you here is Shyla's fibers, Shyla's synthetic makeup is identical to Eve's, the uh, wig that I showed at the very, very beginning of this video. So even though we don't have the one in hand that is uh, white or the medium gray, if you go back and you look at Eve in the medium gray and the and the um, the white, which they call light gray, you're going to have a very good idea of how this wig is going to look. I'm so sorry that I don't have this this uh, wig in my possession, but Kathy, I wanted to at least give you some kind of an answer here. Now I did find a handful of reviewers who who have reviewed um, Shyla. So I'm just going to blow through them just a, a few seconds on each one so you can just get an idea of how uh, Shyla moves. Again, none of them are in the uh, Silver Gray family per se, but if you go back to the link where I provided to you for Eve, then you can see it in the light gray and the medium gray. Okay, let's go. People prefer. I feel like this is an extremely light wig. It does not feel like anything on my head. This is uh, the synthetic and human hair blend and so soft and so beautiful. Really nice shading in there towards the roots and that cap just really makes it so you can part just I love how she pulled the hair apart so that you can see what the what this quote quote scalp on the hat on the uh, cap looks like. She's gonna. I think that camera is gonna zoom anywhere close. here, and it looks very real. Everywhere it, it looks like a scalp. So those of you who are kind of doing cancer chemo treatments, losing your hair, where you have that really sensitive scalp, this might be a really nice unit for you. Um, the cut. And she does the spin. And hopefully that kind of shows the wig a little bit. Just combing through it. This Envy uh, hair is getting a lot of good reviews right now. The synthetic human blend for being both um, something that retains its style and coloring for a long period of time, but also something that a lot of the people that have reviewed it have said, you know, stands up over time as well. So wearing this wig day in and day out, um, you're not going to see it go fraying on the ends or anything like that. Um, super cute wig. Super cute. And next up we have... Our friend Patty. But what makes this wig so different? It's a mono top. It's a hundred percent hand tied. Then you turn it. It's soft. Feel this. It's just fabulous hair. It's envy hair. Envy hair. Hmm. Seventy percent heat resistant. Thirty percent human hair. Soft as a breeze, and look how it moves. Moves beautifully, beautifully. But you get inside, and you see that it's completely lined in a soft silk. Now, I don't know about you, but I have several clients that come in to me who have had um, brain operations, who have the scars, one girl has real nerve endings here, and some girls are just super sensitive, and they go, ooh, that hurts, that hurts. I have wine wigs like this before for my clients because they were so sensitive. Alan has done it. <laughs> here it is, all the way around. There's the top, here's the bottom, and I'm going to put it on for you because you see how it looks when I first looked at it? Ooh, that's a little baggy. Well, when you put the wig on, it isn't baggy at all. And by the way, I did go out to the web to see if, um, let me show you, to see if that silk cap is still being used. And indeed it is. Ultra soft silk chiffon lining cap. Um, and then you see what, what the makeup of, of the wig is. So they're still doing the same thing with the lining of the cap that they were doing seven years ago. So since we can't have it in our hand, I wanted to make sure of that for you. Okay. We'll just continue on with a little bit more of Patty. And you still have the little hand-tied tabs at the bottom. Sorry, V, so you can see this. 
I love to watch Patty because she's been around for a really long time, and I mean that in the best possible way, Patty, in case you're watching. And she just has such wonderful knowledge about wigs. I've learned such a lot from her that I always like to include her if I'm talking about uh, someone, someone else's review. We'll tighten them a little bit because I'm going to put this on for you, yeah. and I can really tell you what it really does feel like. I was wearing it around the house yesterday, um, ooh, this is nice. Mm -hmm. It's hand tied, so you has the stays in the back to hug your neck. Bring it up four inches. I'm gonna see what it looks like. Ooh, oh, nice. it's too too low. Thank you. Yes, it's too low. But come on, it's Tabby, let's not see my it. Color. And I'd probably want to give it a little bit of poof up here, although a lot of girls don't. You know, they comb it down like this. Oh, my Lord, it's like the best 90s I've ever had. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I could wear this to bed, honest to Pete, and I could get up the next morning and say hi, and I, it would feel good. Honest to Pete. Love her. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. Now I wanted to include parts of this review because she gets right down into the scalp and um, you can see how realistic it looks. Very, very believable. Almost has a little bit of a uh, purplish hue to it, but I think that's the light today as it's coming through my, uh, my door here. Um, as I move around, you can see it's kind of changing off. So it has like a, a reddish tone. Yeah, and remember, lighting is everything. How it looks inside is so different than how it looks outside. How it looks under under artificial lights is so different than if I'm standing in front of a sunny window or even a moniker, even a monitor can skew the color that you are seeing and even the color that I'm seeing. So that's why it's wonderful. Once you get to know a company's colors, then you can feel pretty confident that at least the color is going to be what you want when it arrives to your doorstep. Style, that's another whole thing. Let's move on. At the base of it, but this cap construction is fabulous. I'm going okay, then we also have... Um, the beautiful Eileen and she has on another Envy wig. I wanted to show this to you. Do you see that ribbon on the bottom how it's saying blend of 70% heat friendly fibers and 30% human hair. Same fibers, same company, but here it is in the medium gray. And I'm not sure that I Eileen might have pieced that out or put some product in it. I don't know. I will put the link below, but it looks kind of piecey to me. It looks very, very modern and and trendy and she looks beautiful in that wig especially with that pretty that pretty top okay again links will all be below here's another here's another look at a wig by Envy has the same fiber 70% synthetic 30% a human hair and this is Eve and she's in the color medium gray so now you've seen me and Eileen in the color medium gray uh, by Envy. I just wanted to take a few minutes and address some viewer questions. So the first question comes from, let's see, please list the wigs you are wearing in this video. Uh, you can see over here the question corresponds with the video that's to the right. Okay, um, Sunday Summers. So the wig that I'm wearing in that video, the short wig, is Sparkle. And I was comparing the colors to other long wigs that I had. If you still want to know what the long wigs are, please email, please email me or send another comment. I'll see it quicker if you email it to me because there's so many comments. Sometimes they get lost in the shuffle. But that's Sparkle. Love that wig. Okay, so LaSalle, you asked two questions. What glasses are you wearing? Are they bifocals, and did it take you a while to get used to them? These are progressive lenses. I even called my husband. He's an eye, he's an eye doctor. <laughs> I pretty much thought that that's what you called them. But the progressives, um, the way it's explained to me, is there's three areas of view, like the top, the middle, 
and the bottom and the bottom is for reading and the center I guess is for distance I don't know what the top is for um <laughs> but yeah they are they are progressives oh and um on the stem it says brushed blue steel and then on the other side it says zero g now I don't know whether that's the manu zero g titanium and they are really light as a feather um if that doesn't help you uh write me back and um, I can try to get find out, you know, look at the um, the receipt because it was a couple of years ago. But hopefully that's that's all you need to be able to find the glasses. I really, really love them. And I think I remember they came in other colors, too. I'm glad you like them. Uh, and sometimes I wear those and then sometimes I wear these. These are nice and light. But for some reason, I don't know, maybe it's progressive, but it's easier for me to read with these. Okay, now you also, Lisselle, you wanted to know, um, your own hair is looking so thick and gorgeous now. Thank you so much. Do you still stand by the products you mentioned in your hair care video? I recall one of the products being rather pricey, so I just wanted to know before I buy it. I'm not sure exactly what hair care video that was. I think it might have been my Sunday spa, but I will tell you this. Everything that I mentioned in that hair care video, I think, again, it was Sunday Spa, I still use. I love everything in that video, and that's why I talked about it. Um, the only thing of all of them that I haven't repurchased, but I am thinking about it, um, is the, I think, who was that by? Oh, Kerastas. And Kerastas has been having some sales, so I need to go and look at that, but... While I was editing this video, I saw that there is a fabulous sale on Karastas by Amazon. I'll put the link for you below, but this is a pretty good sale. It was $44.99. It's now selling for $24.99, a savings of $20. So yes, I will be reordering Karastas. Link below. What I use faithfully is the Lange. I just ran out of it and I just picked it up again. Um, so this, it goes a long, I mean a long way. You use like a a dime size and you spread it all over your hands and then you just touch your, your damp hair and then you scooch it up. You know, you just try to work it into the fibers as much as you can. Love this product and this really does bulk up my hair. Okay, now are you sleeping in those rollers? Lori J wants to know. Are you sleeping in those rollers with dry hair or damp hair? And you could see that I did this video, how to use an expensive decades old technique in, in gray hair on gray hair for lasting curl. It really did last for like two days, and my hair is pinned straight, as you can see. And did I sleep in them? No. I don't like to sleep with anything on my head. What I did was I put them on first thing in the morning. And then I had them in my hair pretty much all day, at least six hours, six, seven, eight hours, just went about my household routine. And then I took them out. And of course, I didn't comb it. I just used my fingers and kind of fluffed them out. And the bangs, I think the bangs I did, I didn't curl the bangs. I left the bangs out. I curled the rest of it. And then I just put in a couple of curls with my curling iron on the bangs. Yeah, I need to do that again. That, that was really fun. This question is by Diana Whitfield and Diana or Whitefield. Diana wants to know, uh, Kristen, where can she purchase Kristen? Um, Diana, I will put a link down below where you can purchase Kristen. Um, you can get her at Vogue Wigs. And she's by Jean Renault. My one of my absolute favorite wigs. She's a lace front wig. And she's available at Vogue Wigs for $467.08. And she comes in um, oyster martini, and she does come in white. Verna Branshaw was talking about this wig review that I did, oh my goodness, like four years ago. This is Avery by Tressilor. Beautiful wig. Um, it did have a lot of permities in it, Ver Verna. Um, she says her hair was this exact cut. And could be colored that col could be colored almost that exact color. Ne my hair was never as full as this wig, but now I need this in gray. 
I would go for L by Jean Reno. I did reviews on that. Um, just type in at my channel. Just type in or or anywhere. You just type in uh, um, Jean Reno L Angela Silver Linings. It should come right up for you. And I think that might be a good choice for you. And it has some really pretty grays in it. Hope that helps. Just a quick reminder over here at Angela's Wigs for Sale. That's where I house my gently used wigs. Most are only open box wigs, wigs used for review. If I've worn them, it's been one time, maybe twice. Um, all the details are there for you so you'll know how to proceed. And it needs to be updated. There's a couple of wigs here that have sold that I haven't updated the site on. But I will endeavor to get that done this weekend. Okay? Just a quick word of thanks to all the reviewers who I spotlighted this week on my channel. I appreciate every one of you, and I've put the description to those wig reviewers in the description box below. Now, last week, you remember I reviewed Sheer Obsession by Paula Young in the color white. Now, look at her. She looks a little bit different, doesn't she? I was going to put her on my head today and restyle her and try to see if I could make her look like the other picture. I did a few little things to her, and she's starting to look better. So I'm hoping next week that I could do a little bit of styling on her and show you the before and afters, because I had mentioned that I might do that this week. But obviously I didn't. If you'd like to see more reviews for Envy Wigs, Click on the card above or the link in the description below. Have a great rest of your day, evening, weekend. That'll do it for me now, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. And remember always to look for the silver linings. They're still there. See you next time. Bye-bye.